Hello everyone, this is Marcella D. Long, as most of you all call me Miss Marcella. So I have had the privilege to tell you all the Bible story today, and it's about Ruth and Naomi. Uh, I've missed you guys so much, and I can't wait until we we're back in our church uh, serving our Lord and talking about Jesus and just loving each other and doing the things that, that God wants us to do. In our story today, it's about, um, it's about a family. Uh, it's about Naomi and her family. And Naomi had a husband. She had two sons. And as we'll hear in the story, what happened to Naomi as husband and her sons. The title of our story, as I said, is Ruth and Naomi. Wait for me, Ruth begged her mother-in-law. Naomi, I'll go with you. Your God will be my God, and I will never leave you. Ruth was as beautiful on the inside as she was on the outside. Her husband and his brother, Naomi's sons, had died. Naomi's husband had died too. So Naomi decided to go to where she used to live. Ruth would not let her go alone. So the two women traveled many miles to Bethlehem, Naomi's homeland. When they got there, Ruth and Naomi were too poor to buy food. They li lived on the leftover grain that Ruth found in the fields that belonged to Naomi's wealthy uh, relative, a man named Boaz. When Boaz saw Ruth gathering the grain, he invited her to lunch. It's wonderful that you are so kind to Naomi, Boaz said. May God repay you for all of your kindness. Before Ruth left, Boaz made sure she had plenty of food to share with Naomi. So as you see in the picture here, we see uh, Ruth gathering the grain for her and Naomi to, uh, so that they would have food. And we also see, realize that Boaz was kind and shared the food with them. When Ruth came home with all that food, Naomi said, God bless Boaz. He is my husband's close relative. He will take care of us. Then Naomi had an idea. She thought it would be good if Boaz married Ruth. Boaz thought it was a good idea too. Ruth and Boaz got married and they had a baby boy. They named him Obadiah. His grandmother Naomi loved him and he loved her back. When Obadiah grew up, he had a son, and later his son had a son, and that little boy grew up to be the mighty king named David. Isn't God great? He rewards Ruth's knowledge and kindness, and he turned Naomi's sad life into something good. God used people from different countries, like Ruth and Rahab, in his plan to help his children. That's God's plan also is to help us, is to read his word, study his word, and to uh, follow his uh, word. And it, it, one of the verses it reminds us of is Romans 8, 28. And that is my actual, my favorite Bible verse. It says, all things work together for good to those who love God. Everything that happens fits into my plan. This is God talking to us. He said, for the good if you love me. Trust me with big things like your friendship and future dreams. You can also trust me for little everyday things. Remember how I take care, took care of Ruth and Naomi? Nothing is too big or too small for me. So thank you for, so talk with me about everything. And this is our story today for our children and their parents and their grandparents. And we thank you guys and we love you.